veteran comedian Ali Baba has asked the EFCC to go after any entertainer who uses his or her work of art, either music, plays, books, films, comedy, or any other forms to encourage internet fraud, aka Yahoo Yahoo. Ali Baba also added that most entertainers in the industry are not telling the true stories behind their so-called fortune. Mm. What do you think about this? Well, uh, I have a problem with uh, some aspects of his uh, cry. Okay. And this goes to the comedians. Comedians sometimes talk for entertainment. So you cannot tell me that if a comedian decides to, uh, you know, run a joke around fraud on stage, you would want to go after such a comedian. At the end of the day, you don't have a case against such a person. Mm -hmm. But with the music thing, I can understand because, uh, of course, lately we've been having so many new, uh, songs being infiltrated these days and we have youths vibing to it and they feel there's nothing there, you know? And uh, I think that's the only aspect I have an issue with. Every other area, I don't, I don't feel uh, there's a big deal. Right. The comedy part, no, come on. Comedians are comedians. They joke about everything. So I don't think they should be taking uh, too, too serious. All right, but that. you don't think that there should be some self, so, sort of self-censorship when they go on stage knowing the impact or the reach of their comedy? People literally live by what some people say. Like whatever you say to some people is like religion. Like they take it seriously. It's comedy. So if you go on stage, even though you, you say it's supposed to be funny some yeah. people take it seriously you know there was a time we talked about uh, some instagram skits that are supposedly encouraging you know women being assaulted or you know being treated like toys or something like that you know that self-censorship should also come into play that's my own you know well, part and you. i fully agree with alibaba on this one Because I know that some of us have leaned on what our pastor said. Yeah, our pastor yeah. said this, it, our pastor said definitely that. Definitely would. And then you would. have uh, an Uti Wachiku who has, I'm sure, lots of fans. 
And some of his fans would look at this and say, maybe this is something I should do. Consider, yeah. So if you're out there, have you ever thought about it? Do you think, oh, why am I paying tithe? There is no need to do so. Mm. I mean, listening to Uti share his testimony, Money? quote. Mm, yeah. So do you have a similar opinion? Feel free to share with us. We will not judge you. Don't worry. No.